Hello everybody, my name is Travis and welcome back to uh, uh, The Long Dark, another exciting and thrilling episode of Pure Survival Instinct, my refusal to die, and the game saying, well, regardless of your refusal, I'm going to push it on you anyway. I really don't know how this next one is going to go. Oh yeah, oh god, I remember I l forgot to pick up my bedroll. There's no way I can go back for that either. Um, oh no, this isn't my save, this isn't the one I was working on. Um, I started a different save so I could play by myself, uh, without the camera on, and have a little fun, you know, with a little bit easier of setting and just kind of, you know, explore and see what the end game sort of deal was there, you know what I'm saying? I've got a custom difficulty going, uh, and I think that this is the one that we have right here. I'm pretty sure that this is the one that we were working on before. Yeah, there's the other ones are like two days, six days. This one's 16 hours. Six, imagine that, 16 hours into my... I wouldn't last a day in this situation. Oh, no. It put me all the way back here? That's not terrible, though, because I get my bedroll now. But what am I doing? What am I, what am I missing? What did I do? Did I pack everything up already and, and, like, I'm ready to go? There's the rifle. I don't know about those things. Those things. Oh, no. It's looking quite a lot like perhaps I have made a mistake. Like, perhaps... I have maybe made some sort of mistake. Transfer all. Okay, yeah. You know what? I'm gonna just sit here, um, repair my gear for a minute. There's no point in not trying to at least repair my gear a little bit. Um, and ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho oh. ho. I got a lot of sewing kits. That's actually really good. So just gonna repair my stuff because. Good, well-kept equipment is extremely important, I guess. I don't, I don't know. You can don't quote me on that one. Alright, this one could definitely use a repair. Repair with a cloth, sewing kit. You can do that, no problemo. So we made it all the way down the mountainside the very last time that we did this. Um, that did very little for me. That's too bad. Kind of unfortunate, really. I don't have any other stuff. Things that I can use. I can break these down for cured leather, which would be kind of nice. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna do that really quick. There's no point in keeping the extra weight. I know that the cured leather weighs stuff by itself. Of course it does. If it didn't, that'd be ridiculous. But the cured leather, I feel, is gonna help me out in the future, because I think I remember there being some recipes that I needed, or wanted anyway, that uh, cured leather was part of. So this is going to be another really awful experience of me running around trying to make sense of how I'm supposed to survive utilizing copious amounts of soda, running out of inventory space because my weight keeps going down as it has now. Oh, forgot to mute my Discord. Sorry about that, folks. Let me get this out of the way real quick. There we go. All right, Discord is now muted. All right, it's daytime. But I think there's a blizzard going on. So I think instead, this time, instead of going down the mountain into a new location, I think I'm going to wait this blizzard out and stay camped in this house for another day. Because I... Yeah... No, it looks like everything's fine, actually. I might as well just get going now. Um, I have my bedroll. Worst case scenario, I just make another fire and do whatever. So, I'm gonna get us down the road here, um, and find somewhere to go, and then, uh, we'll take it from there. Oh, man, how did I miss that? I totally forgot. I, I even knew this was here from, like, prior memory, but that house off in the distance, there's, like, a tool shed slash barn and a house, and I'm pretty sure wolves also spawn there, I could be wrong. Um, I don't know what the settings are for Voyager. I think that there's like a 24 hour time limit before hostile, you know, creatures start to spawn into the game. Could be wrong, there's a 
a tool shed and a barn there. And I'm pretty sure one of the things there that I remember is there being cured leather just laying about. Now, I'm pretty sure that the spawns in this game for items are random. Uh, aside, excluding, like, very specific items, I'm pretty sure... Oh, no, this is not what I thought it was. Never mind, I was thinking of a different location. You know, there's some... There's some, uh... There's some bucks here. That's not such a bad deal. It's fenced off. So place for me to explore. That's good enough for me. I left the rifle behind, by the way, because I don't have any ammo for it, and I feel like, honestly, at a certain point, I'm going to get a bow and arrow. If I can work toward that, that would be fantastic. Um, and then I wouldn't even need to bother with bullets anymore, and I wouldn't have to worry about drawing every animal in, like, a ten-mile radius to me. So we're just going to scout around here a little bit. It doesn't seem to be anything worth my time. Over there, over here... You're not gonna attack me. Okay, good. Uh, I'm always nervous around those things, because I always feel like, you know, if they wanted to, they could just tuck the head down and, you know, kind of gore me, you know, kill me. You know, really just put me to an end. Anyway, I'm gonna see where this trail leads, and, um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep filming this. Never mind. I I'm gonna keep filming the journey, because if anybody wants to play this game, part of the game is, like, seriously... It's, it's mapping out where you are. It, it really is. Part of the game is mapping out where the hell you are. Hatchet require... Oh, God. It's one of those too big. Um, I also... Because I'm such an amateur at this game, I had no idea that this was a thing. But if you pick up a piece of coal out of a fire and you um, go out into the open world and you use that piece of coal, you can actually survey the area around you and add it to your map. I don't have a map because I haven't been surveying. It would be nice if there was a, you know, um, a grabbable map item in the game itself, but honestly, that's not such a huge deal for me. I, I don't mind that there isn't one. It actually feels nice to rely on my own actions in order to sort of make a map, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense, but I kind of, I kind of, <clears throat> sorry, I don't know what came over me. A wave of raw emotion hit me and I just couldn't speak the next words. But I, I like um, the self-sustaining idea of this game. Of you can't rely on technology, you can't rely on anything other than your own skill and survival. What is this? Is this what I was trying to get to, but I didn't... Oh, whatever. We're here now. Alright, 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 alright. So there should be some... There should be some goodies here. Yes, I know. See, I've been here before, and I've been attacked by wolves in this very spot walking out of that door. Because I learned while messing with the custom settings of my other game that wolves do, in fact, spawn the instant you open a door to leave a place. Uh, so that's pretty messed up. Ragged work gloves, scrap metal. I don't know if I need the scrap metal, but the work gloves, let's see what those are all about. Okay, those work gloves are not good. They don't do anything for me whatsoever, and they drop cured leather. So I'll, I'll dismantle those later. <gasps> I just need to close my eyes. I wouldn't close your eyes too quickly, pal. Cured leather. See, there, there it was. I told you there was cured leather in here. Um, I have a lantern, right? Isn't that one of the things I have? A lantern, torch, flashlight, and my matches. There's a lot of stuff in here. My head feel thick. Hydro energy. Can't rely on this. It looks like it's busted. See, but what I don't get, though, is that this place was in a state of disrepair before the apocalypse. It had to be. Because there's no way that an apocalypse, uh, like a geomagnetic disaster, or whatever they tried to call it, there's absolutely no way in hell that it was caused. Improvised head wrap. That might be worth my time. I'm gonna see what that's all about. It's nice to have this stuff on hand either way, just because. Like, I'm gonna have to eventually switch to something um, like this. What is my hat currently? 
currently at. Oh, this hat is way better. All right, forget about that. Um, I'll just keep that for later for when I absolutely need it. I'm going to scout around in this car and see if I can pick anything up out of it. And then we're going to go inside, and I might just have to make camp there for the night. Uh, because it's very, very cold. Mountaineering what rope. We here? That is useful. I don't think I've ever encountered a, a, um, a cliff that I haven't been able to, like, scale down using a rope. Like, there's always been one there, but I guess in the occasion that there isn't one... Something's gotta go. Yeah, something should probably get gotta go gone. I don't think those noises are indicative of anything near me. But if they are, it's definitely not a good idea to be out here. Actually, I see something in the distance over there. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's just, like, way over yonder. Oh, no, that's where I was already at. Never mind. No point. This is a big farm. It's a lot of land. I mean, I've seen bigger farms, but this one is kind of nice. It's, like, it's on perfect little valley. Hills surrounding it. Mountain. Boom. There's your grain silo, your barn. It's actually really nice. Uh, can't take the bowl with me, I guess. Whatever. Oh, no, you've got to be kidding me. Is it under the mat, maybe? Oh, I'm going to die out here if I don't find something quick. This is now turned into a panic situation. I have no stamina. <laughs> I have no stamina. I have no room to carry anything. And yet, here I am carrying things. What a surprise. Simple tools. Yeah, I'm running out of options very fast, so I may need to just make a fire outside the house. Which sounds ridiculous, I know, but I really don't have a choice. Uh, give me just a moment. I'm gonna figure something out. Oh, I found a hunting knife! And I found a key? Alright, sick. Alright, alright, alright. This is perfect, this is perfect. I... I made a compromise. Uh, because I have absolutely... Oh, God, he's about to die so quickly. I am on the verge of death. Absolute death. I need to pick up everything that I just dropped really quick. And see, I dropped a lot of stuff hoping that I'd have some sprint speed. My bar is completely empty. I have no energy whatsoever. Only way that I can manage to survive now is by getting inside. And now, hopefully there is a stove. I can cook my food. A place to store my shit. I can barely walk with this much gear. Yes, I know, I know, I know. Everything is crazy right now. We're in a bit of, we're in a state of disrepair. I literally haven't gone like more than maybe like a tenth of a mile from uh from where we were before, from the other house, and that's unfortunate. It really is. It sucks. That's too bad for me. That's really too bad. But, but, no need for panic. Everything is going to be okay. Drop that, drop that, drop that. I don't really need any of this. <clears throat> don't need that. Spray paint. Spray paint's actually really good, um, if you know how to use it properly. Okay, I have a shit ton of wood and all kinds of stuff here. I don't need... I don't fucking need all this clothing that I'm not wearing. So I can just dump this stuff off for now. We'll worry about that later. Fuck, I didn't want to drop that! Alright, uh, food. I can put tons of this food away. I really don't need all this food on me at the moment. Actually, I'm gonna want to keep quite a lot of this. <laughs> I take that back. I don't want to drop all of this stuff. Not, not right now. Uh, okay, I'll put the torch away. I'm gonna put my hunting knife away. Whatever. Alright. Warming up a little bit. That's fantastic. I can do without food for a little bit. I could use this. Trail boots, I want to see if those are any good. Those are kind of good depending on what you're using them for, but it's still, it takes up a lot of space for me. Alright, let's try to get a fire started. I can search the rest of the house later. Right now I just need my guy to eat and get some sleep. Actually, there's a lot of books in here. I could probably burn these up and sleep until night time. Um... I can search around whatever, oh god, I keep saying that, but I'm like, I want to collect as much as I can, because it's absolutely imperative that I collect everything I can in order to survive. 
What's in here? Rifle cartridge. Wouldn't you know it? I left my rifle back at the other place. You know, if I really want to go get that rifle, I'm really not that far. I can run over there. I can do that as fast as I humanly possibly can. And I can make it carrying nothing with me. And I'll have rifle cartridges. You not know what crackers are, pal? Because not knowing what crackers are is like... Okay, I, you know what? Whatever. He doesn't know what it is. It's an apocalypse situation. But I'm pretty sure this guy was alive before the apocalypse. Alright, what do you have for me in here? Ketchup chips? See, I always figured that meant to say barbecue chips, but I really don't know at this point. Can't have too much water. Oh, no, you can't. Wooden matches, lantern fuel. That's actually perfect. That is going to sustain me for quite a while. Stump remover. That's made, that's used to make bullets, but I really don't know where the bench for that would be. It's quite a ways away, as far as I know. And that's too bad. No cup of joe in the, in the, 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 the in the, um, in the thing. Actually, you know what? I don't even need to make a fire right now. I can dump my fire supplies because it's warm enough in this building to keep me sustained. So I'm gonna dump off a lot of my firewood and, uh, and and kindling and stuff. There's no point in keeping it for now. Um, and then I think, yeah, exactly. The next thing that I'll do is I'll. Oh, the trunk is full. Well, that's fair. Okay, whatever. Is I'll, I'll run back and grab the. And I will grab the. Rifle. I'll grab the rifle. And, um, yeah. Then we'll have some bullets in case we need to defend ourselves. I've got a hunting knife so I can chop through and, 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 uh, scavenge pieces of deer that I may need. That's fair. Alright. Alright, I still have plenty of energy. Probably sleep for a few more hours just to kind of make the night time go by. And not waste all of my energies. I woke up fully rested. Well, that's fantastic. That's great. All right, what time is it? It's still nighttime. I can just barely see anything. I actually can't see anything when I look in a certain direction, but that's whatever. I don't, I don't mind that. All right. Might be time to make some food. Which means I'm going to need to make a fire. If I can see where the... Oh, I can't see shit. Now I can see it all. Ah, uh, I was really hoping that was a rifle. That would have been so sick. If there was just a rifle in this building, then I wouldn't have had to have wasted my time with anything else. All right, let's get our fire making shit. I'm gonna take a lot of branches. I'm gonna take uh, some newsprints, reclaimed wood, a ton of the Might books I just had. Gear. Yeah, you're carrying a lot of books. I'm gonna take that charcoal for sure, though. Absolutely. No point in not taking it. Alright, tinder plug, cardboard matches. What about my wood matches? That'll make it 80%, which is apparently phenomenal compared to 75, which is like a nightmare. Almost there. How much you wanna bet it's gonna fail? Okay, it actually worked. That's fantastic. Thank you. Uh, burn all my books, that's for sure. I am a book burner. That is absolutely a fair assessment to make of my character at this point. Toss my torch in there. It's not going to hurt anything. Grab another one if I want to. Okay. What am I cooking? Dusty tomato soup. That sounds disgusting. Probably delicious and nutritious. More than you might think. I'm gonna make a little bit more water because I can. Why not? Um, it's 19 and 13 until... Okay. Yeah, let's eat that bad boy. Eat that bad boy right up. That did nothing for me. That did nothing. That garbage. What absolute garbage is that? That did nothing for me. Warming up. That's nice. 
Maybe I should have saved that for later. <laughs> Maybe I should have saved that valuable buff for when I actually left this place. Alright, so I'm gonna eat up some of these chips just to get my... Oh shit, I forgot I picked up all the other stuff too. So I'm gonna eat up some of this stuff. Banged up condensed milk. So it's opening, but what is that going to do? Oh, that's some superfood shit. I should have saved that. It's a good thing I have another one. Only 50 calories in it. Well, that's, that's, that's not good. I wasted it. I wasted po possibly my saving grace in this game. 13 minutes until boiled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna take that with me. Alright, I have a lot of shit in here. A lot of shit. I have perhaps too much shit for my own good. So I really now have to ration out what I want to take with me. Again. It's the last time I wanted to do that, but... What can you do? What can you do? I'm definitely taking this firewood with me. There's absolutely no point in leaving it behind. On um, my antiseptic, I might need that. Oh, God. This is just a nightmare of... What do I want and what don't I want? Taking that for absolute, absolutely sure. Um, the sodas, the sodas, the sodas. Those are my saving grace, like I said before. Um, I can probably go without... I know I'm gonna need some of this shit. I'm probably never gonna find batteries. The mountaineering rope is way too heavy to take with me, and chances are, I'm, when I get to wherever I'm going, I'm gonna find a mountaineering rope anyway. There's no point. So, what do I want to drop? Scrap metal. Um, I'll drop the cloth. Why not? Uh, all my branches are like three pounds. Oh, man. This is turning into another struggle. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot to equip my gloves. <gasps> okay. I have way too many matches for my own good. Okay, um... I th think that might be the best that I can do, so I'm probably gonna just end up sleeping for the rest of this. And then, after that, we'll see what happens next. I'll probably just end up leaving. And we'll go wherever the wind blows. Newsprints and stacks of paper. I don't know which one is more valuable. I think they're both the exact same. So, you know what? Whatever. We're just gonna leave it as it is. How much time do I have left on this bad boy? Six hours? I can sleep for six hours. And this way it saves the game, and I don't have to go all the way back to the beginning. After all this progress that I made. Which isn't really all that much. It's still fucking dark out here. Okay. It is a little bit too dark for me to go anywhere right now, so I, I think this might be a good place to end the episode. This is going to be a really slow game. I told you, at the beginning of this series, this is going to be a slow game. But the way I play and how little skill I have at this, it's it's going to be it's gonna be a grind. It's going to be a grind all the way from the bottom to the top. I'm going to start with nothing. I'm going to spend a lot of time bumbling around not knowing what I'm doing, um, not crafting anything, just picking up resources as I go recklessly and haphazardly making decisions on the fly that are probably going to end up getting me killed. So it is what it is, and I want to thank you so much for sticking with me through this. That's your improvisation of survival. Surviving this video is possibly the bravest thing you've ever done. So thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate you sticking with me through this. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment down below to tell me what you think. Subscribe to the channel to stay up to date. Share the videos to spread the good word, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, friends.